suppose we start or There's a lyric pretty much from the song that goes, uh, it's called Me Generation. So if you hear it originally, it's on an electric guitar, of course. Um, but in between the riff, that would be something like, I don't give a damn about the Me Generation. School dead, brain dead, out of education. So the lyric kind of goes like that. Um, but yeah, let me, let me explain what's up with all of this. <laughs> Good evening, people. Uh, thank you for checking in again. We are the second time over here. And uh, what you are witnessing, if anyone doesn't know me, hopefully they will after this evening. <laughs> we will get to know each other a little bit better. Anyways, uh, my name is Anna Akimovic, uh, Rock Dance Theater. And this evening is called 33 Minutes with my humble self. So uh, let's see if the format is going to be 33, but um, it is a second live um, episode, if you can say so. It's the fourth in real life, because long story short, um, this kind of stage talk um, started off as a, as a live TV broadcast uh, to interview artists. And uh, pretty much people that I worked with that are kind of interesting to also talk about, for all kinds of reasons, because they work in music, because they work in dance or in theater. Um, just checking if you're still paying attention because don't fall asleep on me. <laughs> I have Coke and we have coffee, so whatever you need, go ahead, take it and sit down. Um, but yeah, pretty much it started off with me talking about all kinds of stuff. Um, basically what I do on stage is a hybrid of music, um, rock and roll to be exact, um, physical theater, um, some of you guys already know, the awesome guests that we have here from very far away, I'm gonna say about that a little bit later, but yeah, we are in Wrocław, uh, Poland, for everyone that is watching, the world is watching us, um, I will go into a small Q&A with you guys, meaning that not only I will like kind of produce my own show, uh, one woman show we call it, but you guys are most definitely going to be uh, involved on an active level. Anyway, a little bit about um, this small tune over here, right? Um, Me Generation. Uh, it's a song by uh, a friend of mine. He uh, actually plays for a very big band, um, Ryan Roxy, he's called. And the band he plays for is Alice Cooper. So if any of you guys uh, know who that is, he, the gentleman is a, a storyteller of some sorts. Um, Pretty much he's been in the music business for a very long time and uh, Ryan has been working with him for like 20 years. Why I wanted to kind of open up with this small tune for you uh, is because this song uh, comes right off the album just from last year, um, from Imagine Your Reality. And uh, yeah, it's one of the, the cool upbeat songs that is uh, yeah a classic three minute rock song with very cool lyrics um, that I did not sing for you guys, but as you 
as you saw, yeah, it's, a, it's about a message, you know, me generation and today's time when we go like on a cell phone constantly and we don't really look at each other's eyes anymore. I try to, I'm seeing every single one of you and that's, that's nice to have that connection. So um, yeah, so check it out. It sounds way better than what you just heard. Really like full thick sound, imagine Robin Zander somewhere back in the day from Cheap Trick or Aerosmith times, that's exactly what you get. Alrighty, um, I heard that the owner, wherever he is, he had a plan for me. <laughs> and I guess we gotta do it because that's the path for me to be over here. Uh, so before I do anything else that is officially uh, connected to this fusion um, and the stage talk, uh, by the way, I really like this guitar. Um, I've never tried it because I mostly play with, I don't say play guitar, I say play with. And that's also a special meaning because um, there is a story to that. I'm not a guitar player. I started that piece of history, but I will talk about that later. Um, yeah, so that, that was a cool tryout. Good guitar. Grab one if you can and just try it out. I know you want it to. You will later. Anyway, okay, um, I'm ready. So, uh, Donna, I do see you that you're hiding. Come on over. Let's talk, right? Let's get the people to know a little bit more before I go blah, blah, and then, you know, no stopping. Okay, good. Do you, do you need a mic as well? You want one? You have one. Awesome. We are so yes. ready over here. My God. Ale po, ja mogę po polsku? Czy, czy, <laughs> Polish, English, Spanish, French. <laughs> well, we have a bit of a situation. Alright, let's try this. Well, I've never done it. Like, Q in Polish? So, Umar has no idea what we're talking about, and oh, many, może Umar, many people może Umar either. Na, na, na na Let's try this. Let's no, see how Umar, it goes. Umar, 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 so basically, <laughs> basically, the idea is going to be because uh, lately, funny enough, um, Rock Dance Theater, which is my artistic collective, has been actually uh, preparing for for a tour. We just uh, did a music video. And we're going to go on tour with it. So we're going to do two shows that are live, which is one production, Satiric Tango, and the other one is called On Edge. And anything that is connected to On Edge uh, has some element of uh, surprise and not preparation, as today, pretty much. And that's the beauty about it. Uh, one thing that I talk about um, my stage talk, hello, is exactly yes. that element that no one knows what's going to happen. So we didn't plan this. We know this person, and I know Umar, I can already introduce him, uh, but uh, I did not expect that the guy would end up on stage with me. How cool is that? And unpredictable, right? Okay. Okay. So... Let me just... Technical. Pause. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> that was the sound of my bones after 30 years of dancing professionally. <laughs> still have the sound effects. Still, we, we do still have the sound effects. <laughs> Some people may call it music, but maybe not. Okay. All right. So I don't know why Let's I'm here, but I'll try to know. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So as I, as I know from, from Donut, I should ask some question. So he wants the question. Okay. He's going to ask it in Polish, language course. You're going to say it in English. Okay. What you think he said, and I'm going to answer. <laughs> what the hell? So yeah, let's let's try this. I've never done this before. It's like a TV quiz. <laughs> Go. Question number 1. We have we have limited time here, so <laughs> bear in mind. <laughs> Come on. Bear in mind. Um, tak. <laughs> It's a comedy show. Unless you don't know, that's what you paid for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Co najbardziej lubisz w rock and rollu? Oh, it's easy. What do you like in rock and roll? <laughs> holy, holy moly! Oh wow, one of my favorite questions. Um, how much time do we have? <laughs> well, uh, I gotta say, 
everything in rock is kind of connected to, to being alive on stage, which I was doing all my life pretty much. You know, I was raised uh, in California as a kid and I was already like doing all kinds of weird stuff on stage and off stage, on the carpet, you know, back at home, in front of my parents and friends. But um, this thing about rock kind of brings everything together. It's, you know, we just say it's cool. You kind of get everything in one package, meaning being able to perform sometimes night after night when you're, you know, on tour, it's, it's, it's fantastic because you get to travel the world. Um, you're never bored because there's no time. Um, you constantly figure out which city you're in, so you're not gonna have Alzheimer's like ever. You just, you, you constantly, you know, exercise your memory. And at the end, if you're lucky, people pay you to have fun. So how cool is that? Um, I would say rock and roll means being on stage and off stage is kind of the same thing. So for me, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, very hard question. I could go on and on, but for <laughs> audience and everyone here, not to get bored, I would say, yeah, that's that's why I love it. It's just great. Okay, yeah. so do you believe in, in the in the uh, like the art with the message? You believe, art with the message, absolutely. Yeah. And what's what's so what's what's your your uh, like big message from from the art or from what you are performing? Um, big message. Well, can I have this like this? I just like no problem. I just like a guitar. No like, problem. And. Um, I would say, you know what, it, it depends on the project, to be honest, because sometimes... In general, I'm asking, like, as okay. for you, like, the dancing or the this rock and roll and this the show with theater that you perform, uh, do you have, like, main or clear message, or do you believe in this idea? You know what, there's always one kind of d vision direction, I say, and then it can take you pretty much anywhere. It's, it's about creating a reality, I say, and taking the audience on a ride. If... If I'm successful enough um, to take people somewhere and they kind of understand, aha, that's kind of what she meant for us to think about. It kind of means that I did my job well, but it, it's not necessarily. But to be honest, with me and my work, I'm, I always have like a million things in between. So it could be one thing for you, but at the same time, it could be completely something else. And I had people tell me, like in feedback, um, I, th I was thinking about an ex-boyfriend when I saw you perform, or I, I was smelling oranges during the piece, like, you never know. So whatever is in my head as a one direction topic and then the title of the pieces as such, you know what, it's always different, because we're different and we expect different things, um, yeah, so we interpret. So, so, but I, I think, like, from what I understand now, that the, the main thing, it's uh, that you have, like, the the message it's just the art in, in like not just because it's not uh, something small but the mainly from what you are mentioning now it's more like the message in from the art to the art in general not like about to say because sometimes like for example me i i i, I like to to say something in each project some like right. pure idea for example but message, that's not, you mean, there's like a, a clear message for mm -hmm. example i want to say in maybe something small, maybe something big, maybe something, but I want directly to say that. Mm. But, but it's just me, for example, Men like any other artist, maybe like like more to to just make good show, good right. art, so that's what. Well, uh, both. <laughs> I, whatever both. I do, uh, <laughs> whatever I do, I, I try to do my best on a quality level, so unless I feel that what I have to say is exactly it, on any level, like technically, it has to be like perfect, which is the ultimate impossible. Good luck. But yes, uh, but number two, I would say, yeah, one example, last year I was doing a reconstruction of, a, of my own piece from 2013 called The Force of Gold, Puissance d'Or. And uh, it was, one message was kind of clear. I did a metaphorical kind of environment of a creature digging up gold and it was, you know, weird and crooked and, you know, underground if you will and the, the message was about greed like we want more money we want more gold we want more possession and uh, that yeah, was so pretty much that so I, I think that that will lead us to the another question all right then. okay which is uh what you want to what you want to achieve like through what i do yeah but i mean like talking about maybe not now but your like goal from that all right well, number one, I need to have fun. Dobrze, <laughs> that's... <laughs> if I have fun, and that's a must, everyone that works with me has has to know that, and they know that, like, along the way. Uh, if it feels like a job, don't do it. 
because I don't call it a job really, it's a lifestyle or it's a privilege to have that, but no, being completely serious, this part of um, creation, um, kind of, it's an automatic thing that you cannot do without, so uh, it's, a, it's a way of expression and a way of communication to, to the world, like let's say, this is one very small form of it, like normally if you came to my show, a rock dance theater show, you would see everything, a fusion of dance and theater and fashion and lights and whatever, this is a different format because I also choose to awarely talk to you guys like what's up and what's the history, what's the background about it, what are the people involved. Like Umar actually witnessed one of my workshops as well um, that I was leading with a musician live. So you know, it's it's one of these it's one of these things that uh, yeah, fun most definitely. But uh, if you have something to say on stage, do it. If you don't, go off or you're not ready yet or go and think about it before you go on stage. So that's. Yeah. Just tell us too. Donut has the question. He's just. Uh, uh, did this no, Omar he is doesn't. Like, he just Omar scared is, to ask. Okay, so you're ch channeling. That's good. Yeah, yeah that so works as well. Okay. And and then again, <laughs> me think? being a woman, you know, I have two guys on stage. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky am uh, I? Okay, another important question. Do you think you will be rich, gonna be rich from, from being artist? <laughs> After 10 years, for example? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's one of these things, really. Uh, people really Why ask not? me that. Why no? Pe because I spent too much. <laughs> My lifestyle is very expensive. Um, no, but actually, it's one of these things that you do, you kind of do what you do. Uh, you try to get better each time, but also, it's one of these things. It's luck, it's people on your way, it's geographics, it's economy at the moment. You know, if you look at the world, like today, I was working like a maniac also because I'm flying out tonight as well to a different country, but um, I, w I got kind of sad watching what's happening in the world, you know, on economics, like what's happening to the environment, you know, stuff like that, like human relations. It's all just like gone down the drain the last time. So to be honest, if someone asks me like, do you want to be rich or will you be rich with what I do? I go like, that's not my priority. It's not about money at all and never has been. It's just a question that's... that's. Uh... No, it's a very important question because people do things purely for profit. I'm asking, yeah, because because sometimes if you are focusing on on that, it should be your, your job with that also. Yeah. So for that, I'm asking because if you need to give your heart, you need more time, you need more working on yeah. that. If, and if you have another job, you will be busy also with another thing. Well, uh, of course. And by the way, do you have another job? <laughs> <laughs> this is this is getting interesting, isn't it? And you don't know if I'm lying or not because mm, you know that's the magic of theater. Instead, <laughs> I could say whatever. It's rock and roll. <laughs> rock and roll has to be real. There, there cannot be any lies. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Um, but as answering your question, yeah, as I say, it was never about profit. Of course, I do this professionally. I've been doing this ever since I was a small kid. So I need to get paid for my work. And anyone that thinks oh, otherwise, think again, or you know, don't work with me. But basically, there is this notion that art doesn't need funding. And this place had a sticker on the on the door, art and I cash. art needs cash. And I love this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, if there are curators or festival organizers watching us right now... <laughs> I think that just the owner that, put, put that on the door and <laughs> forget about it. That's exactly that. But, um, <laughs> you know, sometimes you really need to get a second job to kind of do what you love. My dream, yeah. <laughs> it's a dream. You put this in. <laughs> I'm lucky enough, well, I'm a complete non-stereotype. Um, my background and my lifestyle is completely upside down and uh, it works for me. I wouldn't recommend it because it's kind of crazy. But actually, I do have a second job. Uh, not many people know that I have a second profession, which is medicine. So during the day, I, I own a, a physiotherapy practice and I actually treat dancers and performers and crazy people like myself. Uh, so you're still closer what? from <laughs> And then, you know, in the evening, I dress up like a Christmas tree, like tonight, and yeah, I, I go on stage. So it's kind of that funny balance. Okay. But uh, it, it's just been like that ever since. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's good. We will return to some typical questions. But it's about the weather. Answer. And now, no, not the weather. weather. Forecast. For example, <laughs> uh, in where you, where, in how many countries do you perform in general? Did, did you perform? 
I never counted. Not as a number, like for example, you can see, you can mention the countries. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta say. But I know that you are traveling for some show between time and time, as well as the, what you are doing here in, in Poland. Yeah, well, I travel quite a lot. I gotta say it's. I gotta say one third of the time I'm stationary, like now, <laughs> but not not for long. Uh, I've never qu counted like how many shows I've did. I've done impossible. Not but how many? I mean. You can just uh, because I'm one, I want to ask another question after that. All right. But what I want to ask to know so that let me answer. Give me a chance. Yeah. <laughs> the countries. The countries. Well, I've never done Asia. I've never been to Asia. That would be kind of cool to do. Um, I haven't done Canada either. Uh, I'm mostly around Europe. I gotta say, I started off as a kid doing like really small shows, and that doesn't really count. Although you know, you should not discriminate. I think everything is important. Um, if you're on stage, you're on stage. Doesn't matter. So that was also in the States, in America, but um, yeah, mostly Central Europe. I'm over in Scandinavia and Sweden, which is where I'm going like tonight as well, to Stockholm. And then I'm between Poland and Austria and Croatia and France, depending. So, yeah. So the other question that you will go now, which, which, uh, which performance that you, you don't forget was something so special for you? Do you like something that you, you did and it, you like it too much because it was something like so special show? Like a show that I liked too much. That's what. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I gotta say I enjoy every single one for all kinds of reasons. Yeah, but for sure each one, like each artist, he has something special. He still has it like in the mind. Okay, this is this is gonna take a while. Okay, no problem. Someone play some music or whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, boy, let me think. Um, no, no special moment comes to my mind, but actually, if I had to say, uh, one very special thing happened a couple of years back. Um, I was in Qatar. I was invited to the Middle East, which was like the furthest I've gone from Europe. Which, which country? Uh, Qatar, to Doha. Oh, Qatar, right. Yeah. And uh, that was pretty cool, I have to say. I was invited to do uh, a seminar and also like a similar kind of talk, a small kind of performance to, to show what I can do. And I got to say, it was... The, like the best stay ever, really. If you ever get a chance to see uh, Qatar, it's something else. Number one, the food is fantastic. <laughs> the people are super hospitable in the sense that they respect everything and everyone so much. And also, yeah, it, I've never been. So it was a really, really like, oh, okay, Middle East kind of, you know, Princess Shaharazad of whatever. I think it's, it's, not, it's <laughs> not the, the country that, that you can say is, you can, you can, uh, they can give you the feeling of Sharzat and Sharayal, but I know that it's still Middle East. Yeah. But for me, I will, I will, for example, uh, give you like advice to if you want to see this atmosphere, you must go more to Egypt or Iraq more. Maybe. True. Well, Iraq I, could, hard, I could flip the question actually now and ask you, hello, Umar, where are you from? Can you introduce yourself? <laughs> yeah, I'm from Iraq. <laughs> I'm here. All right. So basically. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do agree because, of course, there are places to... No, uh, I, uh, because I know that the people...